Good evening, and thank you for joining the Refreshing Point. I hope that you are doing well. I will be sharing with you why you should water your soil with seawater and the surprising connection to cancer. Modern intensive agricultural methods have stripped increased amounts of nutrients from the soil in which the food we eat grows. Sadly, each successive generation of fast-growing, pest-resistant produce is truly less good for you than the one before. Over countless years, land has been worn down by wind and water and elements washed out to sea. Thus the sea received the enormous chemical richness and balance that once supported life on land. Therefore, sea salt has the elements needed for life. Seawater is not as salty as you think. The sodium is buffered by the other 90 plus minerals present in the water. The proportion of trace minerals and elements present in seawater is optimal for the health and growth of both land and sea plants. It will also remineralize the soil. Mid-century biological pioneer Dr. Maynard Murray was a pioneer in biology, health, and agriculture. His lifelong quest taught him that the key to health is a secret in soil, a secret whose source is the sea. As a medical student, he recognized evidence of an all-encompassing unity for life on Earth. His inspiration came from his study of the ocean. As a university student, Murray had tried to induce cancer in a toad. He was astonished to learn that the amphibian had natural immunity. Looking at ocean life, one is immediately impressed that there is no cancer, hardening of arteries, or arthritis. Ocean trout don't develop cancer, while freshwater trout over five years have liver cancer. It's difficult to find any land species without cancer. All land animals develop hardening of the arteries, yet sea animals are never diagnosed with this. Dr. Murray noted that aging hardly occurs in the sea. In 1954, he did a controlled crop experiment with corn, oats, and soybeans, growing 10 acres each of sea solid grown and controlled food crop. He found that the sea solid crops were healthier than the control crops. In addition, when corn, wheat, and oats are grown with the sea solids, and fed to farm animals, changes were noticed. Using animal research with species bred to get cancer and fed food grown with sea solids, he reported that the first generation cut debilitation from 97% to 55%, a significant drop. Dr. Murray's sea solid plants significantly decreased one kind of cancer in mice. Dr. Murray made a startling conclusion that farming has to be the beginning of preventive medicine. In the 1950s, Dr. Murray began assessing crops for nutrients. Consistently, foods grown using sea solids had significantly more minerals, vitamins, 25% more vitamin C in tomatoes, 40% more vitamin A in carrots, and sugars. Growers quickly criticized Dr. Murray, insisting that salt will kill plants. This is true of table salt, but Dr. Murray found that if sodium is blended with all of the other elements in the same ratios as in seawater, plants aren't injured, instead they thrive. Sea mineral fertilizers can be purchased in concentrated liquid that needs to be diluted, preferably with rainwater. To find products in your area, please search the internet for sea mineral fertilizers. It is recommended to use one ounce per 10 square feet of soil. Do not apply more than once a year, unless if you live in a tropical climate with heavy rainfall. Thank you for watching. Good day and good health.